Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I wanted to do this review of Tavis. Dot io because specifically um, I've seen reviews for this uh, blogs uh, vlogs uh, things all over the web about this um, and uh, the challenge with it is I haven't seen people actually like using it right they're just talking about how good it is or whatever and I believe it's because of the barrier to entry around pricing right so you look at the pricing here right they have basically the enterprise solution and um, that's what I purchased and I don't know much what else they have I know they will talk about a $275 per month version, which I don't see it advertised anymore, but they have lots of uh, big brands that they say they're using it and stuff like that. Uh, but, um, and these stats seem unbelievable here. If you look at the stats here, I could go through them all. 500% ROI on what you spend on marketing, right? So um, I don't know where they're get, gathering these from or whatever, but it kind of seems a little uh, bogus. Uh, but anyway, um, so I'm going to dive into the review of actually using it. You'll see inside of the interface here, I'm going to do an original test video, this little teaser about what's going to happen here. But um, I tested it, invested the money so you don't have to. So let's dive in here. I'm going to show you my use case of Tavis and my review of it. And uh, spoiler alert, uh, to save you a lot of time, I wouldn't invest the thousands of dollars or the initial uh, thousand or so that it costs to just get started and onboard here. So let's dive in. If you go to tavis.io, it's spelled T-A-V-U-S dot I-O, you'll get to this page here. And Tavis is a software that uses generative AI to create personalized videos with voice and face cloning, right? The face cloning is the key. This is why uh, it's so unique and interesting. So I'm gonna show you what happened. Uh, I invested thousands into uh, Tavis, so you don't have to. So if you just read it here, it's real. I like this, this headline here. You record one video, Tavis personalizes the next one million to your audience. And this would seem to be true, uh, and and it, it it's appears as though like that Tabis has some great case studies. So here's the case studies library. So you can just go to tabis.io uh, use dash case library here. This URL, you'll get to see what they do and you look at what what they produce here, right? So this says activate uh, churning customers and look at what you get here. Just real quick. Hi, Mark. We're so grateful that you've been part of the Bold Moves technology family since 2019. But I noticed that you haven't been online as much lately, and I just wanted to check in and see how you were doing. I went ahead and took a look at your account, and I noticed that you have generated over 150 opportunities using our platform. There's still so much more room for results. Similar companies in the e-commerce industry that are using us have seen at least 150% boost in their customer responses. I'd love to help brainstorm a few ways that we can help improve your results. Would Monday work for you? So you see that there, that looked pretty solid. The script is on the right. You just watch the video here. You can rewind it back in case you missed it, but it looks perfect, right? Um, you'll see that that's not the end result that most people that I know use this and even myself, I'll show you typically get. Um, so here's the challenge, right? So the challenge is just this. So initially when you start using Tavis and you sign up, they, the salesperson, the people on the team, they say the onboarding and setup uh, is, is 20 minutes, right? But it's a lot more than that. Actually, number one, you need to actually read a script so they recognize your voice right? So you, they need to get your audio. Number two, they actually need to uh, look at the script that uh, uh, you've, an and analyze it that you've read. And then they have you read another script so they can match your voice and your tonality and everything else. So that all right there already takes about an hour. <laughs> That's realistic. So there's 20 minutes gone already. And you still haven't recorded the video yet because you need to actually get a video of you, right? So then the video, they need to have that rendered. So it needs to go to their, their team. And then from there, uh, it actually, then you, then you, in about 24 to 48 hours, you'll get a, a, uh, the ability to then record the video. Now the video, I don't know anybody that got it in one take. I certainly didn't. I had to do it in about four to five takes, maybe even more until I got a final product 
um, that I like. So I spent maybe about two hours plus just doing that because the challenge with it is, is that you need to be looking in the right area because if you're looking down reading something, that'll be telegraph. They haven't fixed the eye motion yet. Now there's lots of AI tools out there right now that actually can match your eyes uh, to the camera, whether you're looking at the camera or not. And that would be a cool functionality of this tool yet, but it's just not there. Um, they just haven't figured that out yet. So the functionality is just this, right? So uh, after you create the, the video, right? And I'll, um, the video just shows up in the interface here. And uh, you I did it on behalf of somebody here. And with that, um, what it allows you to do is then preview the video and then from there, it'll match your voice that you've recorded to the video that you have created. So th it's pretty awesome so far. You're like, wow, um, I have the video to the audio. And then what you do is you, you find identifiers. Now, identifiers are just this. If I go back here, you see all these colors here where it says hi, first name, and then start date. These are the identifiers you add. You can actually add as many as you want, right? Now, that'll make the the video kind of weird, um, but you can add as many as you want. So if I were to do this, I would add just exactly as many as they show here, but you'll see um, it'll be deceiving uh, because the challenge with all of this is I found is that are these videos actually using Tavis that they have as a uh, use case library here? I don't believe they are. I challenged the folks at Tavis and I said, hey, are these actually AI generated videos? Um, and they <laughs> provided a little bit of uh, context around it, but there wasn't a firm answer from them to say, hey, yeah, all these are generated using Tavis. Because they appear, when you looked at the first video that I showed you here of the reactivation churn customers here, it appears as though it is just uh, a woman reading from a script in, for, on the camera. It doesn't look like Tavis and there's no, and you'll see the end result here that I'm gonna show you in a moment. Here's a teaser of what I did. Uh, but you'll see that it doesn't actually uh, look like so good. Um, so with that, um, after you uh, do the identifiers, you're basically ready to go. You then give them the script that you read, right? Cause they're analyzing the script that you read here. And the, the, what you can do then is then upload all your identifiers into Tavis here. So here's the back end of Tavis. Um, this is kind of left to a mystery because you can't get in here until you pay thousands of dollars. Uh, but that here's what you see in the background. Now, I would say in terms of price, there's uh, comparatively, there's a lot more um, tools out there that actually are less expensive that do pretty much similar results. I think Tavis, they just got about $6 million in um capital from Sequoia. So there's likely going to be lots of improvements and innovations here, but it's just not there yet. Additionally, I'll throw in there um, to actually use this to its full ability. You want to link it to chat GPT. Um, I wouldn't go do it yet um, because I feel like the even the basic features that I'm going to show you aren't quite there yet. But it does advertise that it supports longer form variables instead of these kind of short form variables here um, that you see in, in the in the case library that I showed you where you look at the identifiers and you see these uh, different amount first name. But I, I so you'll see that it's not quite there yet in terms to be able to do do uh, even the basic stuff. Now to give them a little kudos, what I do think is kind of cool is that you can deploy different use cases uh, in, for Tavis, where you can use their web dashboard, as I showed you here, to actually use it, or you can integrate with APIs and actually connect it so you can make it a part of your workflow. So for example, if you have a CRM, you get a new lead into that CRM, you can have a custom video if you have the right variables go out to them instantly or wait a little bit so that the person feels as though it, and it, that you created it yourself, maybe wait five to 10 minutes. So that's that's an interesting feature to with using the API. That's that's I think that's kind of neat, but you'll see the end result in a second here. Is I paid twelve hundred dollars initially um, to get uh, about five hundred videos, including the onboarding and everything else. So that's quite pricey compared to other things out there that you can that do similar. Um, I believe that this touts itself as getting a be better result, but you'll see now. Here's here's what I produced. Um, at the end here. Hey, Tess, how are things going in Tess? 
I hope things are going well for you at test. Would you like to earn passive income like a broker without any of the liability, supervisor, responsibility, or capital? As a fellow real estate agent, I know how crucial it is to find the right brokerage to support your career. And that's why I'm reaching out. My name is Eric Orland, and I'm one of the fastest growing agents at eXp Realty with almost 2,300 agents in my team. I've achieved remarkable success, and I'd like to share it with you, Tess. If you're not seeing consistent, predictable income, this could be the perfect opportunity. By joining my team, you can retain more of your commissions and work with me directly and potentially transform your real estate career. We offer multiple streams of income, including passive income. I'd love to meet you. Please let me know which day works best for you, tomorrow or the day after. Thank you for your time, Tess. I look forward to our conversation and exploring this exciting opportunity together. Now, I gave them the benefit of the doubt here. I didn't do full screen. And I asked um, the people at Tavis, hey, can I do full screen videos? Because here's what was my plan, to actually send what's called an MMS message, so not an SMS, but an MMS message, a video message, to people's phones by downloading the videos to Tavis. So you get a, a truly unique experience because when you get text to video, oftentimes you look at it, but if you get text to link, um, you may think it's spam, you, it, unless it's coming from a friend, you might not even click on it. Um, in, in addition, you, it'll just be like, oh, now I gotta go to another website. So I wanted to actually have it play in the interface if somebody's looking at their cell phone or if I uh, send it to them through a, a, a direct message. But as you'll see, the quality of this thing, like I'm just saying For test you, here, I right? But the thing is, look at my mouth, right? This doesn't look natural, right? Look at the black here, like there's, it doesn't look natural, especially when it plays. And the team at Tavis said, oh, no, no, people are not going to notice this. Only you're going to notice it. But I think they're thinking people are kind of naive or there's like they're just going to be so busy that they're not going to be able to see this. But I definitely saw it. And the people that I showed this to as examples, they saw it, too. So, like, clearly you can look at my tongue and you could look at uh, when there's the identifiers, when you watch the video, it shows up as black and it doesn't look natural and it looks kind of weird. Um, so people would notice this for sure. Um, so that's my experience of it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't send this out to the world um, at, for, my, to, for people to see this. Um, it was cool to experiment and play around with it and I had high hopes for it, but I would not recommend doing this, not only for the price, there's stuff that's less expensive if you wanna do this, but also just the whole um, setup process was long and tedious. Um, maybe if you have a mass scale project and you have somebody that's uh, super famous and that super famous person wants to get a message out, that would be awesome. I think the best use case for this, uh, if once they update their tech here, is if somebody buys something. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you sell computers and your computers range from in price from $500 to $1,500. But you also sell accessories for those computers, keyboards, mice, uh, uh, lighting, uh, microphones, all the, all the peripherals. Um, maybe the CEO of the company, after you buy that $500 computer, they can then email you or text you, whatever, if you agreed to and to be on their list, a video welcoming you, thanking you for buying the computer, and then offering you the keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, uh, microphone, all that other stuff. I think that's an awesome use case. And then for an upsell, right? I think that's that's awesome because you already purchased something expensive. You, they have your attention. You're looking at it. And now you can have a personalized message with all these identifiers, first name, last name, all that other stuff uh, where you purchased it from, possibly all those things that make it a personal experience. Now, I think that's awesome because the price of this right now is about a dollar a video. So it, it's really got to make sense um, for, for you to want to do this because unless it's uh you have somebody's attention what's the chances of them looking at this so i would conclude this whole thing um i don't think the benefits of there of this software are using it now other things in ai like for example the voiceovers and the ability to record your voice and use it for other things that lots of other tools have i think that that's awesome and it's priced more competitively than this. So I wouldn't recommend this uh, to do this. I think it's right now it's a waste of time, even for the biggest of businesses to do something like this. But overall, um, it was fun to test it. I had high hopes for it, it has a, a beautiful interface, right? Everything else, all the 
all the things that could make it a great thing in the future. But right now, I wouldn't recommend it. And I also have a program uh, that I'll, I'll uh, be coming out with to make it easier to personalize AI for you, specifically with ChatGPT, because that's really the future. They're so far ahead. They have lots of users. They're the name that people think of. It's not AI when people think of figuring things out now to, to work with AI. It's ChatGPT. So that's the future. So I'll be coming out with a lot of stuff, a, a, a lot of things around that, along with a program to help people. Um, actually personalize it and use it. Because the biggest frustration that I've heard from people is the fact that uh, they're using AI, but it, it, they still have to do the quality assurance of it. They still have to check and make sure that it actually represents them or what they want to see. So I'm going to make it so that uh, make AI work for you and actually optimize AI for you. So once again, like, subscribe, uh, comment down below. If you use Tavis, I want to hear about it. I want to hear your experience. So looking forward to if maybe you got a better result, maybe send me your videos. I want to see what what it, what you came out with and if it actually came in and looked like the case studies that I, I was initially shown here uh, that got me to, to buy into this um, also because the case studies seem awesome, right? Lots of use cases here. Um, but, but what I want to see specifically is uh, how can we um, make it look as though it's completely not AI generated, that it's an actual personal video that's real? So thanks for watching this video. I ask you to like, subscribe if you really enjoyed this. Um, and I'll be coming out with a lot more uh, AI things, um, all different types of things that I think you'll enjoy from interviews to inter reviews of more tech like this that are kind of expensive that uh, I I'm going to test for you so you don't have to invest the money or waste the money. Also, uh, I'll be doing lots of updates and news updates coming soon. 